all right guys welcome back to another tutorial and in this video we're gonna be making our programs a lot smarter than they have been because I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create a computer program that can make a very simple decision now the decision that it's gonna be making is we're gonna give it some code we're just gonna like print something out on the screen and our program is gonna decide whether it wants to run it or not and if you guys are like okay it's a computer program it does what I tell it to do so it has to run it right well not exactly so let me show you guys what I'm talking about I'll type the syntax in right now and show you guys the basic structure of it so what you do is you type the keyword if and right after that type parentheses right there now in between those parentheses we're gonna be giving it um, some sort of test and we'll just make them really simple like check if a number is equal to another number or like check if um, one number is less than another number so these tests can be kind of confusing but I'm just gonna show you guys some real basic ones for this tutorial now after that put two little curly brackets and any code that's in between your brackets is going to run if that test is true so again we're gonna be putting the test right here and the code we will just write something simple like print something out on the screen but this is the basic structure of how to allow your computer to make a decision so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the actual example so this makes sense so like I said just test something really easy like is the number four less than the number ten well of course we know that it is so in this case it would run whatever code is right here like print something out on the screen and we'll just put like a easy house so whenever we run this we see that it does indeed print out easy house so of course what your computer did is it said okay you want me to test this okay is 4 less than 10 yes it is run this so now let me show you guys an instance where the test would be false and I'll talk to you guys about the different types of tests that you can do um, but of course right now you know that you can do less than you can also do greater than so let's do that so this it says is 4 less than 10 this one right here this does not equal true 4 is not greater than 10 so any code that goes right here like print out meatball if we try to run this we see that it does not print out meatball so even though we typed this line of code right here in our program check it out it doesn't print it out because we gave it a test it wasn't true and it made the decision not to run it pretty sweet so before I show you guys an example of when you would actually use this in real life instead of just printing out meeple on the screen I'll talk to you guys about the different types of tests that you can use so of course you knew less than greater than there's also greater than or equal to and this case would be like if you want to test if someone is like can enter a website their age would be like greater or equal to 18 there's also less than or equal to and some other ones let me go ahead and type some numbers in here to test. and another one that you can do is test if two numbers are equal to each other now whenever you do this you actually use two equal signs and you're like okay well in math class I just write is X equal to 10 or something and the reason you don't use one equal sign in computer programming because remember whenever you're making variables and assigning values to variables you write something like X is equal to 10 and one equal sign in C programming means assign a value to a variable two equal signs means test if one value is equal to another value so again just remember that um, you'll get used to it after a while it's very simple now the only other test I want to talk to you guys about right now is this not equals to it's basically the opposite of equal to so in this test right here whenever you want to test if something is not equal to 5 it's going to be true in every instance except 5 so this of course is basically the opposite of equals equals 2 5 is indeed not equal to 5 that's true so we ran this bit of code so let me go ahead and show you guys an actual example of when you would use this and what do we can we can actually just code that uh, one that I just talked about we can allow the user to enter their age and if they're above 18 or if they're 18 then we can allow them to enter some sort of website 
but you know like what website would the user need to be above 18 to enter I don't know I can't think of anyone but we'll code it anyways easy caps lock okay so int age and then we'll just go ahead and give them some little prompt on the screen printf enter your age actually I wanna ask them a question how old are you New line and of course if we're asking them a question we probably should give them an area to write into and this is just going to be um, a simple integer so percent D and of course ampersand age so now we have the user's age which is some number in the variable age so now we need to make that basic if statement to test if their age is above 18 simple enough so if age is greater or equal to because remember it said they can also be 18 18 so this is going to be true in anything like 18 19 84 it's going to be false and of course 4 3 you know like a bunch of 3 year olds use computer but anyways let's go ahead and just print something like print you may enter this website so we can go ahead and run this and hopefully if it works how old am I 27 you may enter this website cello now another thing that we can do is we can also output something if they are under 18 and that's simple you can just write if and let me give myself a little bit of space to work with right here so if age is less than 18 what can we write just write holy nothing to see here so run this and of course if we say something like how old are you 86 it still says you may enter this website and nothing else and if you run this again how old are you well I'm actually only six years old nothing to see here so pretty sweet our programs are getting a little bit more interactive and actually right now I guess this is a good time to uh, talk to you guys about nesting if statements so I actually put that in the next tutorial so you know I don't want to overload overload your guys' brain in this one so in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to nest if statements make decisions like right after another so it's gonna be awesome thank you guys for watching I'll see you then